Today we are going to learn about the second program of our file structures laboratory. The second program question goes as follows. Write a program to read and write student objects with fixed length records and the fields are delimited by a pipeline symbol. Implement the pack, unpack, modify and search methods. So for, uh, before going to the program, let's understand the question uh, in detail. We have to write the student objects. When we say about a student object, what are its attributes? I can say a student name, his USN, age, SEM, branch, and so on are its attributes. So we are going to read and write all those information with a fixed length record. What do you mean by fixed length record? The size of the record is going to be fixed. We have learned about fixed length records in detail in our syllabus. With the fields, so we do understand what is the meaning of a field. The field is the smallest unit of a file so when i say student object name is one field the usn is another field so the, all the fields are going to be separated by a delimiter this is the delimiter that we are supposed to use we have to implement the pack operation unpack operation modify and search i hope you all know what is modify and search i will concentrate more on pack and unpack pack operation means you are going to pack all the details that you are going to read from the user add the suitable delimiter write it into the buffer this is called as pack operation unpack operation is when you want to read from the buffer and write it into another file or you want to write all the read all the data from the file and display it on the output screen so they're going to unpack all the uh, um, details that is there inside the file by removing the delimiter this is called as unpack operation so we are going to be implementing all these operations or methods in our program. Now we can uh, go about in our program. First, I will tell you the class that we have written. The class is the student. The class student, that is a student object. That's what we have written it as class student. We have uh, written all the data members. What are the data members? The name, the USN, age, SEM, branch. So these are all the attributes of the class called as student. Now we will start from the main function. That is the place from where your program execution starts. So we are going to uh, start from the main function itself. Yes. So if you can see in your main, it is clearly implementing, uh, displaying your menu items and implementing those menu items using a switch case. So in our main function, I have written a, a local variable that is choice while one that means if the while the user has entered some choice we are going to display all these choice all these menu items on the screen and so the, to display something on the screen we are using a see out statement once we have displayed all these things on the screen we are going to ask the user to enter his choice the choice is got into the local variable uh, in, and it is stored inside the variable called as choice based on the choice i'm going to switch to all the methods what are the methods write display modify and search so when you want to write a record itself you are implementing pack operation when you are displaying the file you are implementing your unpack operation so we are not implementing those we are not writing those functions here it is being implemented in the background so the functions we are going to implement is write display modify and search so what is the first um, option the user has entered let's say the user has entered choice one that is your write record we will go for that function called as write record so what do you mean by write record the user is going to enter the details of a student which you have to read and write it into a file so this is nothing but a write record you're going to read the details from the user and write it into the file so this is the function for write record Please observe this particular line, file.open. File is the file pointer. Open is the function to open this particular file. What is the name of the file you have specified? Student.txt. So we are going to open this file called as student.txt. If the file is already present, it will open it. If it is not at present, it will just create a file and then open it. The name of the file will be student.txt. 
now see the mode in which we are opening the mode is append mode what is the meaning of append mode even when you are closing the program and opening it it again the details that you are going to add the names you are whichever you are going to add will be added at the end of the file that is the meaning of append mode your previous data will not be erased okay so if the file is not opened properly then that is if not file we are going to display cannot open the file in the append mode if the file is open properly i'm going to ask the user to enter his enter the student name and all the other details that is the usn the age the sem and the branch now after getting all the information we have to pack the information and write it into the file so for packing the information i am using the concept called as buffer so we are first going to get all this information from the user write it into the buffer and do the pack operation for writing it into the buffer i have used the uh, functions that is string copy and string concatenation so first i will copy the name into the buffer okay next i am going to concatenate all the other details what are the other details after the name i am going to concatenate your delimiter that is the pipeline symbol next i am going to concatenate your usn followed by the delimiter and so on so all the details will be concatenated into your buffer now once all the details are being filled i am going to calculate the length of the buffer length of the buffer is calculated by a string function called as string length and the length of the buffer is stored inside a variable called as count why is this used so that i will be able to get the total number of data that is stored inside my buffer so that i can write it into my file now for i'm going to use a, a for loop for what is this for loop my uh, we are using our fixed length records in our uh, program right so our fixed length record are going to be length of let's say 45 so if the record is not filled up to 45 i have to uh, pad the uh, uh, record with the uh, exclamatory mark we are not going to leave the record blank if it occupies 45 bytes of data then fine if it does not occupy you have to fill those positions with an exclamatory mark so this is what we are doing here padding the empty spaces with an exclamatory mark once that is done we are going to concatenate this uh, buffer with a backslash n symbol that is a new line symbol end of the uh, record now once all the data is being packed into the buffer we are going to write the data from the buffer into the file so this is the place where we are writing the packed information to the buffer okay so we are we have written all the information into the buffer from the buffer we are going to write the data into the file once that is done we are going to close the file so this is nothing but write operation what was our write operation we have read all the data from the user and we have packed the information with the necessary delimiter and then we have written the data into the file so that is our write record so let's say the user has entered the choice two what is the choice to display file so now we can go for the display function what is the display function supposed to do it is supposed to just fetch the data from the file display it on the screen so you can see here we have i have used here character extra of 45 what is this extra of 45 to store your padded uh, area this is the extra of 45 now find out open student.txt in the input mode why is it opening the input mode so that we are going to only read the information we are not going to edit it if the file is not opened properly then i'm going to print c out cannot open the file in the read mode if the file is opened properly then i'm going to that is if the file is opened successfully then i'm going to first fetch all the data i'm going to first just display this on the screen what is this the name the us and it is nothing but the header line so this is going to be displayed first once this is displayed i'm going to fetch all the data from the file while it is not end of the file file dot get line using this get line function i'm going to fetch the name how much of our characters it is occupying plus the delimiter i'm going to fetch all the data after all, fetching all the data i'm going to fetch the extra padded area whatever you have added the exclamatory mark even that will be fetched until you are going to encounter a backslash n symbol next i'm going to display all these names us and age sem branch on to the output screen again it is going to repeat for each and every name if there are say five students this will be repeated for five students five times it is going to be repeated 
but this will be displayed only once you can see that it is outside the while loop once you have displayed all the data you are going to close the file this is nothing but the display operation that we have implemented the next operation is your modify and search these two are the very important operation so let us start with our modify what is the basic um, aim of our modify function we are going to ask the user which record he wants to modify so the records us and we are going to identify the records with a unique key that is our usn we will ask the user to enter the usn uh, records usn who, whichever he wants to modify once the user has entered we are going to fetch the details of that particular record display it on the screen then we will ask the user to enter the new details and then uh, do the updation in, inside your file so you can see here in our modify function i have tried to open the file in the input mode itself not in the output mode input mode is for reading if the file is not being opened properly you can just display a message unable to open the file in the input mode if the file is opened successfully you are going to ask the user enter the usn of the record to be modified whichever record he wants to modify once you've got that from the user what is your next step you're going to fetch the data what is the function we have seen for fetching the data using this get line function so still it is end of the file get all the data from the file we are going to get all the data from the file we are going to fetch the data from the file once we have fetched the data from the file the next step is compare the usn what the user has entered with all the usns whichever is going to match you are going to display the data so you can see here if string compare usn and sg of usn if the both the usns are matching we are going to compare the us and the user has entered with our fetch data if the two are matching display like this the old values of the record are display all the name the us and age sem and branch next ask the user to enter the new values once the user has entered the new values you are going to get all the data and then you have to write it into the file you are supposed to update it into the file so if the user has if the usns are matching right if the us usns are matching that means you have found your particular record and you are going to display this if the usns are not matching then you are going to display the record with the usn is not present and you are going to close the file if you have not if you found the record you can display all the details once you have fetched the data you have displayed the details got in the new data now you have to write it into the file what is the procedure for writing it into the file open the file whichever you want to write which is the file student.txt in which mode you are going to open in the output output mode now if the file is not open successfully you can just print unable to open the file in the output mode if the file is open successfully you can just come here and you can copy the name into the buffer what are you trying to do here you are trying to pack the information into the buffer these are the new set of data the user has entered pack the data into the buffer next you are going to count the length of the buffer this is the same way we had done in the previous program that is in the write record we had done this you are going to count if the length is less than 45 then you are going to pack the extra space with a exclamatory mark once you have finished packing the information write it into the file so we have written the packed information into the file this is nothing but modify operation in modify operation we have asked the user to enter the usn whichever he wants to modify we have fetched those details asked the user to enter the modified details we have modified and we have packed the information written into the file the next operation that we are supposed to implement is search operation what is the search operation we are only going to search the uh, file for the particular record and display it on the screen that's it So this is your search operation search operation is similar to the first part of your display operation what is the first part you have done you have asked the user to enter the records whichever usn you want to search once you have got the usn you are going to fetch the details from the file so you are going to get all the details from the file once you have got all the details from the file compare this usn with this usn this is what the user has entered this is what you have fetched 
So we're going to compare s dot usn comma usn. If it is equals to zero, that means if the usn is found, if the record is being found, you are going to display see how the record is found. Display the details. If the usn is not found, if the two are not matching, you can just display record not found, and you can say file dot close. And you're going to terminate your program. This is our program number two in your file structures laboratory. I'll just summarize what the program does. It is going to read the data from the, it is going to read the names, that is the student object from the user, pack the information with the necessary delimiter, that is a pipeline symbol. We will read all the details. We're going to pack all the details and write it into the file. Next, you can read the details from the file and you can dis you can do the unpack operation, display the data onto the uh, standard output. And you can also implement modify and search. In modify operation, you're going to ask the user to enter the USN, whichever he wants to search. You're going to match the USN and you're going to display the, uh, modify the data on the, in the file. Now I will show you the execution of this program. So here you can see that I have uh, stored, I have saved this program with uh, the name fsl2.cpp. The extension for this um, program is .cpp, okay? So we will uh, compile this program. You can see that uh, there, are, there are no errors. Now you can run the program. So you can see that the uh, menu is being displayed. Now let's say I'm going to enter choice one. The choice one is a write to file. They're asking enter the student name. Let's enter the student name, the USN. So I've written the data into the file. Now I can say option to display file. So if you can see here, these are the details that were previously written. Here you can find the details that I have written. That is the name, the USN, so this is how the output will be displayed. The, the menu items will be displayed. You can enter your choice and you can enter all the details. Once you've entered all the details, you can enter uh, the next choice. The first choice was write to file. Once you enter write to file, you have to enter the name of the student, the USN, the age, the SEM and the branch. The next choice is uh, two, that is to display the file. If you are going to enter the choice, all the uh, data that is being there inside the file will be displayed. Next choice is, let's say I've entered choice number four, that is to search. What is that search? I'm going to ask the user to enter the USN of the record, whichever he wants to search, let's say 25. You can see that the uh, record matching the USN 25 is the second record, containing the name as Mahesh. So this Mahesh will be displayed, okay? The last option that we had left was modify. Let's say I'm going to enter the uh, USN uh, to modify, the choice is three. The USN to be modified is three. The old values will be displayed first. These are the old values. Then the user will be prompted to enter the new values. Once the new values are entered, it will be more, uh, updated onto your screen. You can use choice number two, that is to display, and you can check out that the new details are being updated. I had updated, these were the old values of the USN uh, three. Now I have updated it with, these are the new values that I've updated and I've used the display function. You can see that the third record is being updated. This is our program number two. I hope you people would have understood. Thank you very much.